I'm Anne Palmer. I'm a landscape artist. I like to paint seascapes and I paint in oils on canvas. I'm going to be telling you all about how I do this in this video. This video shows me painting the shoreline at Sea Salter, which is on the swell close to Whitstable. It is an abstract painting done with a palette knife and I'm going to be showing you the technique, how, how I paint with a palette knife. This painting depicts sea salter looking up the swell towards the light and the land at low tide. It uses interesting colours and I'm using a technique called palette knife painting and uh, you'll be able to see in detail how I do this. But first of all, I'm going to tell you all about how I prepare my canvases and get myself ready for painting and to get the painting set out ready for the palette knife work. My painting has progressed from there. I'm painting in the studio a lot these days and uh, I paint from memory from a lot of the work that I did in plein air and I sometimes use sketches, drawings and um, photographs. I'm painting in oils on cotton duck canvas, which I have prepared myself. And I'll say a little bit more about that. I'm inspired to paint the seascape because I've been doing this for several years. I started painting at Whitstable plein air, which means I stand outside in the, in the weather, the sun or the wind and sometimes the rain and the storms, which is great fun. And um, I paint what I see. I work mainly in the studio now. My painting is larger and abstract and expressionistic. My paintings have been developed from my experience on plein air, sketches, photographs, and gaining inspiration from my travels in France, in the North Coast, to the coasts of Cornwall, Normandy, as well as my home county of Kent. I developed my reputation as a plein air painter working in the vineyards of the Loire Valley and around the Kent coast where until three years ago I worked out of a beach hut in Whitstable. I've been painting in Whitstable for some five years standing on the pebbly beach watching the tide ebb and flow, the morning mist across the swell that's the thin strip of water on the north coast between Kent and the Isle of Sheppey. Uh, the light on the horizon, the clouds coming in from the west over London and the light out to sea to the north and east. The low tide exposes sandbanks, pebbles, seafood for the gulls to eat. I build my own canvases using stretcher bars which I buy commercially and slot together and I um, cover them with 12 ounce cotton duck, uh, stretching it and uh, stapling it to the frame. Then I prime these with two or three coats of acrylic primer or gesso and I usually coat the canvas with um, a coat of terpsy, thin coat of terpsy red oil paint, often Indian red, sometimes burnt sienna. When this is dry I lay out the scene with a thin coat of oil paints building on this firstly using a brush and then thick oil paint applied with a palette knife. Uh, the painting that you're looking at today uh, has had that done and I'm at the stage where the palette knife painting is progressing. The extent to which the painting is built with more impasto depends on what I'm painting, the scene and the mood, and my style is impressionistic, representative tending towards some abstraction and exp expressionism. I've been working on a series of paintings called Shoreline. This series depicts the beaches of Whitstable on the north coast of Kent and the beaches in Cornwall where I visit for holidays each year. Various times of the year and day, the state of the tide and weather's inspired by my... I want to talk about the artists who have inspired me. Firstly, Pete Brown or Pete the Street, who paints oil urban scenes and uh, he paints wonderful pictures in Bath, London, Edinburgh and uh, was very important early in my life. I do urban sketching and I very much appreciate the work that he does. Uh, secondly, Alain Bordier, a French artist who taught me to use palette knife. Uh, I painted by the river with a group of his one weekend and he really started me on, on the palette knife painting. 
I also went to some of his workshops. And lastly, Kurt Jackson, who's, who's a painter who lives in Cornwall, stands on the cliff top or the beach and uh, puts a canvas on for a large canvas, throws paint at it. I use artist colour oil paints, mainly Winsor Newton, Michael Harding and De La Roney. Uh, the blues I use Ceruleum, Cobalt, Roney's Indanthrine, uh, Michael Harding's Ultramarine, sometimes I use Blue Black and sometimes I use Prussian Blue, but you have to be so careful with that because it stains. Also sometimes Thalo Turquoise and Blue Thalo. With the greens, I'm using Ron Roney's Yellow Green, Michael Harding's Permanent Green, Michael Harding's Bright Green Lake Light and Michael Harding's uh, Thalo Turquoise. Also very important, Viridium and Terre Vet. Yellows I'm using lemon, yellow, yellow ochre, raw sienna, Michael Harding's uh, Naples yellow, uh, dark burnt up umber, um, light umber, sometimes you can get a light um, umber with green in it, which is nice. Uh, reds I'm using burnt sienna, light red, which is rather similar. Indian Red, which is what I use as a base, and I was Violet Deep. There's still some work to do to this painting, um, and when it is finished, I shall leave it to dry, paint the edges and varnish it with uh, retouching varnish once it's really dry, perhaps 10 days after I've painted, then it will be framed. Um, yeah, I'm pleased with this one, and uh, it's going to go in my uh, open studio in uh, Rochester in July. Um, if you're in Rochester, give me uh, a bell or um, email and uh, you'll find me on Instagram at Anne Palmer Artist. Uh, I look forward to hearing from you.